Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. We're going to be doing a unboxing of Jaclyn Smith's Leading Lady in the color Silver Starlet. That's 46 slash 56 slash 60 hashtag four. So stay tuned. Today we're going to unbox Jacqueline Smith's Leading Lady. Here's her information. It is a beautiful wavy chin length um, bob or long bob, if you will. And um, before we get to unboxing her, I want to tell you what I'm wearing today. This is Easton from Polly Young and um, she's in the color Silvery Moon. If you want to see the review that I did for her, I'll put the link right below here and uh, you can find, um, just go there and watch, watch her there. Anyway, so uh, let's get busy with our unboxing. So here she is. I just got her, I bought her with my own funds and she's in the box, ready to come out. Alrighty, so here she is, you've got she doesn't have a, a net on, it doesn't look like. No, she does not. But she is strapped into, she's got her seat belts on. <laughs> In all of here, let's see, I've got tags that are holding me up here. Alrighty, that looks great. So let's take a look at her cap construction. Um, let's see, before we do, leading lady, Jacqueline is right here this is the catalog picture you can find leading lady at hollyyoung.com and uh, i'll be sure and put a link down there to leading lady all righty let's take a look she has a beautiful lace front look at that and it's extended all the way down to the temples she has a standard cap but it's not really really standard can you see those tiny lines inside there that is a single layer of stretching, stretchable lace, and then wefting that's attached to that. So what you get is a little more aerating up on the top of your uh, cap. So breathability is good there. Okay, the crown is covered by that too. So it also supports a little bit of um, permatease, which I find is impeccable. I love the amount of permatease that Jacqueline Smith puts in her wigs because it's not too much and it's not too little. We have standard open wefting all the way around the sides. We have these beautiful long velvet ear tabs with metal stays inside. At the nape we have an extended another uh, velvet tab here along the nape that makes it very comfortable and then of course the uh, Velcro adjusters. Now I'm going to go ahead and I usually open the adjusters a little bit for me. So I'm going to move them from an inch to a half inch each. Okay, so when we take her out, this is what she looks like to begin with. Let's see, there's the front. That's the lace front. So we've got the lace front right here. I want to be real gentle with her. She's got lots and lots of curls. You can see she's pretty shiny, so I think probably even a dusting with um, some dry shampoo will help tame that a little bit. Okay, let's look at the scalp. Here is the scalp. Or what, you, what, what you can see is the rooted area. <laughs> the scalp is covered very well by the amount of fibers that are put in there and the permatease. And of course you see this beautiful rooting and the rooting is carried out throughout the whole wig, even on the underside. You can take a look under here along the nape and you see that same rooting everywhere. So it's beautifully dis um, dispersed throughout the whole wig. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see if we can try her on. We'll get her arranged over here and we'll go ahead and try her on. Here we go. Take Easton off and then let's go ahead and put Leading Lady on. Now I did a review for the Long Leading Lady and I can also put that down below. That one was in 
uh, in a comparison video. Okay. All right. Bring that up to my hairline. Okay, now I would need to train her a little bit. I like the way that she's nice and full. I would probably, around my hairline, I would need to train her a little bit more. So see like this, this part of my um, bangs area, I would take and put some more pressure and heat. I'm gonna just finger curl her a little bit just to kind of open up some of those curls. I don't know that I would take a brush to her because I still want to keep <clears throat> some of the separation that we get with these beachy waves and curls. I'm not sure that this would be called a beachy wave because it's a little more pronounced and a little more curl. Let's see, do I have her on straight? There we go. Well, not too bad for just right out of the box. Okay, so how I would train her is I would, for me, I want these to lift up off of the side of my head and then cascade down over here. So I would twist this and bring over a small clip. I gotta get it out of my, okay, so right here, a small clip. And I would leave it over there for quite a while before I would choose to wear, I would probably. Okay, so let me, let me go ahead and do a spin for you. So, Leading Lady by Jacqueline Smith in Silver Starlet. How does she move? She move okay? Feels like it. She feels like she moves really well. Kind of a cute style. Very, very cute. You could probably, and I'm seeing, you know, you, we can widen the, widen this uh, width over here a little bit, maybe even fluff her up a little bit. I could see using some uh, little sparkly clips just to hold, and even leaving that right there is not a bad appearance, not bad. Now see, let's take a look at that hairline right here in front. How's that look? Does that look pretty good? I think it does look fairly good. I've got a little bit of my widow's peak showing just where I have, I've got more hair on my widow's peak. <laughs> but anyway, so then we've got this and of course with my bio hair being gray, it doesn't look bad when when I um, have the wind or just in the movement of my hair, head has that showing. Okay, let's see what's happened just in the short amount of time that I've had that clip here. Okay, so let's take a look at her dimensions real quick. We've got, okay, lady and lady, her, uh, her length, okay, the, is, uh, the front is nine and a half inches. So this, this, this part right here, the bangs, nine and a half inches. So it's going to come down and it's landing pretty close to my jaw, but that's because of the, the curl. It's pulled it up. We have um, the sides and the upper back are the same length, nine and a half inches. So it's meant to be kind of like a, a curly bob, a curly bob here. We've got an 11 inch top. So this comes all the way up here and goes down. It's pretty close to that nine and a half inches. But again, coming from way up here all the way down, it's going to need that extra length to be absorbed by the by the curl. And then the top and crown are... are uh, 11. The nape is five and a half inches. She weighs 3.7 ounces and she's available in um, Paula, Young, uh, Paula Young, Young's 18 different colors along with um, the Jacqueline Young color or Jacqueline Smith colors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so actually this is not bad. I really, I think it's darling actually. I would probably work at keeping this back here a little bit more, even just to stay there like this. But she's not too bad, is she? She's kind of cute. And I like that length. I like that length. That's kind of fun. So the cap is comfortable, just like they always are for me. <laughs> anyway, so 
This is Jacqueline Smith's leading lady in silver starlet. I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, review of Jacqueline Smith's leading lady. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments that you like in, in uh, the comment section below, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.